The firmware 032109 decreased my maximum brightness in HGIG gaming mode on my LG CX at around 100 candela. With the inofficial firmware 032116, everything is back to normal. Welcome back to my channel Armok for All and before we start as always please do me a big favor subscribe to my channel that's how you can support me I would much appreciate it thank you very much Okay let's start and in this video I will test three different firmware versions for my LG CX so installed was already the Series 3 1130 which was the latest official yeah, firmware update from LG and I was able to update this back then uh, via the um, software automatic uploader, downloader, updater. Um, then I tested of course the Series 3 2109 which is officially on the LG website on the Australian website at the moment but not on the air which means my TV told me there is no newer update available. So what I have done is um, I downloaded the firmware, copy and paste it in on a USB stick and updated the TV. And also I tested an in official firmware, the 032116. And yeah, now we have a look on my results. So please keep in mind that during my whole testing, I never changed any picture settings or settings on my LG CX. I just verified every time after an update that my settings are still the same and no additional settings are on. So what I found is after the update from the uh, 3011, no sorry, 1130 to the 2109, um, stuff like a quick start and live function, and all of this stuff was turned on, but I left it turned on just to make sure that this is not, um, yeah, having an impact on my measurements, okay, or it shouldn't have any impact okay so anyway again keep in mind i did not manually change any settings okay so let's start with um the 1130 my your last official installed firmware and i did of course quick measurements with Kalman in terms of the maximum brightness have a look on the maximum brightness is 650 candela in the hghg gaming mode Dolby Vision maximum brightness uh, was 703, 700 candela. And I also did the um, testing what Vincent from HDTV test uh, did with the yeah, posterization issue. And this is the picture what you can see at the moment what I took from my TV. So sorry again for my camera quality. That's the best what I can do with my great S9+. Plus. I still think that's a great camera, by the way. Uh, you can see that's the firmware uh, 1130, which has a very bad yeah, posters, posterization effect. Oh my God, you can see this um, noise in the black, on the black, I don't know what this is, a speaker or something like this. Um, very bad effects. And um, yeah, let's move on to the 2109 firmware. Okay, so after the update, I made sure that nothing was changed. I told you um, this quick start and stuff like this was turned on, but it, uh, there was nothing turned on in terms of eco mode or uh, picture IO, uh, I, I, A, AI, sorry, oh my God, uh, and stuff like this. So everything was turned off or on in the right spot, but I would also turn off or on, okay? So my picture settings weren't touched at all. And this is what I measured in the game mode. And we have now a maximum brightness of 550 candela, which is more or less really 100 candela less, which is of course not good at all. And the rest from the calibration, I would say is more or less the same. So the color correction and, and the white balance is more or less the same, but it's really obviously and uh, obvious. And I checked it in the gaming as well. 100 candela you can see. 100 candela is what I'm calibrating my TV in SDR, okay, from 0 to 100. That's the loss what we have right now with the 09 firmware in HGIG gaming mode. This is unacceptable, okay? So Dolby Vision, on the other hand, had again 700 candela, which was exactly the same brightness. But now, very interesting, and where is my picture? It's here. 0.9 firmware in terms of this noise in black objects. Much, much, much better. I have to say it much, much better. The picture quality in Dolby Vision with firmware 0.9 was much better. 
The only bad thing is that I rarely watch Dolby Vision movies. So let's talk about the inofficial firmware Series 3 2116. And when you have a look on my screenshot here, 680 candela in the HGHG gaming mode, uh, back to normal, I would say. I verified this um, result with turning off the TV, turning it back on, removed the power for around 10 minutes so to make sure this stays as it is. And it was always around 670, 680 candela all the time. So what about Dolby Vision? We have 682 candela, so which means it's also the same. Uh, we had before, I think, 700, but just keep in mind, this can vary about, uh, of course, with uh, temperature and stuff like this. So I would say this is just hunky-dory. And when we're talking about the um, noise in the, in the black levels, then I would say it is exactly the same as with the Zero 09 firmware. There is much less noise in the, in the black, so the picture quality in Dolby Vision is the same, in my opinion, as in the Zero 09 firmware, so much better than in the uh, yeah, old uh, 3011 or 1130 firmware. Oh my god, there's so different, so many different firmwares, but anyway. So, with the in official firmware, my picture quality in Dolby Vision is much better, and my peak, my maximum peak brightness from 680 candela is back to normal in HGHG gaming mode. Okay, so to um, yeah, do a quick summarize about this, um, yes, 09 is decreasing the maximum brightness. I tested this on my LG and I can confirm it. Uh, I can also confirm that the uh, picture quality in Dolby Vision is slightly better. What I also can confirm is that the in official firmware brings back the maximum peak brightness to 680 candela in my HGHG gaming mode, which is a good thing. And it the picture quality in Dolby Vision stays at is at it is. So that means we just need to wait for an official yeah, release from the new firmware. And I know what you're going to ask me, where can you get this firmware and whatever. I'm not going to tell you because um, it's not about uh, that you can't do it. It's not a secret or whatever, but I don't want to be um, responsible for any faulty TV or something like this. So there are ways to find it out. Um, AVS forum, by the way, is a great place to ask questions or yeah, write uh, private messages. Just, uh, you know what I mean? So, but official in this video, you're not getting any answer about this firmware. So big shout out, by the way, to one subscriber, which brought me to this um, great idea or he yeah, brought uh, this tip and I hope I can pronounce his name, Sayan Zraj. Sayan Zraj. Anyway, so he is in ABS from Active and also he is a subscriber uh, of my channel and I would suggest that you subscribe to my channel as well because you get infos like this um, yeah, as soon as I'm able to make a video. <laughs> and now it's time to say goodbye because it's so hot in this room, I think I have to stop now. Anyway, best wishes to you and um, yeah, stay safe and I see you next time. Bye.